once again. It's Herndon Social Dancers once again, Miss Laura. Hi, everybody. Once again. We're going to show you what we taught tonight. So please, we hope you enjoy it and that you use it when you're dancing. That's kind of point why we share it with the world. Oh, yeah. So what Laura and I did a few months ago here in Herndon was called Big Step. Well, tonight we're doing Big Step mm -hmm. 2.0. It's off of a whip. So we, we, for the class, we did explain the whip, but we didn't break it down generally, but a basic whip is three and four, five, six, seven and eight, your basic whip, okay? This fancy move is, a, is an extension of the whip. So to four, we're gonna do a sugar push, and to four, it's all the same. You bring her in, she coasters, gentlemen, you're off the track and get back on it. And four, just to go this way, just to make sure everybody knows what that is three, and four, okay? Nothing changes. But then from there, five, six, seven, and eight does change everything for her and for me. So we're gonna get to eight, and then show you how to get to it. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. So where the slot was this way, now we're actually going off of it towards you. How you lead that, guys, leaders, is to four, it's like I said, it's the same. I'm going to open my turn, my wrist open to where she can see it. So then I'm going to make her do a turn for five, six. So I'm going to accelerate this, five, six. And I'm coming around her, swoop the arm down, over rotating to eight. I'm on my right, she's on the left. So she should feel that pretty smoothly and not be in a very aggressive turn. So I turn, five, six, I pull and come forward. So we're going to go to the front of the camera just you may not see it very well, but at least you can understand maybe the idea. Five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So we're both coming towards off the track. So we get to eight. We're going to get eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now my left foot's my next step with her right foot. What I'm doing as a leader is I'm going to slow down the tempo of the next step. So I'm going to go one. So I'm taking my left hand. Turning palm up, then back to back. You don't have to touch her, but you want to, she wants to feel you slow down. So we're going to go to one after the eight. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One. And I'm going to start to raise her right with my left. That's going to be one. Now we're going to two, half turn. Four, two, three, and land on my left foot on four, which pushes her to her right foot on four. So look at it. A little more speed. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. And then we end on a five and six. So guys, slow the tempo down as you're doing this oval. It slows her down. You come down on four, and then you just triple it to get out. So the whole thing, one, two, three, and four, five and six. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, triple step. You take that big step. That's what we call that. Okay, one more time this way. Okay. And then we'll do it. So shirt push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, blam, triple step. It's pretty cool. You don't want to bump into her doing that oval. Nice and smooth. Slow it down. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. She's amazing. Thank you guys again for watching. If you came to the class, please enjoy it. Please use it. As always, have a great week. Keep dancing.